Hey gang, Cheryl Todd here from Gun Freedom Radio, and we are at 2018 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we had this unique and amazing opportunity to sit down with Christy Titus of Pursue the Wild because you've been nominated yes. to the NRA Board of Directors. Yes. Now, how big of a deal is this? Well, it's such a tremendous honor. You know, I've served the National Rifle Association for numerous years as an instructor and host of Tips and Tactics, and then I hosted season two of I Am Forever, and um, being a part of the NRA is everything to me. I love serving. Um, I love trying to ensure the continuation of our Second Amendment, and creating a new place for hunters and people like me, women, to have a voice. It's pretty awesome, and I feel very honored that uh, that I was nominated by the nominating committee. This really is incredible, and you know, the future of our hunting industry, yes. our hunting traditions, you know, I've been hearing more and more that um, it's kind of, you know, at threat because a lot of our hunters are aging out. Mm -hmm. And so to have the face and the voice mm -hmm. of not only a young, I think you're a millennial. Yes. If you don't call somewhat. that a bad but, word. I don't know if I'm a millennial. I think I'm a little old for the millennial <laughs> technically, but we won't, we won't worry we about won't that. We won't talk about that. We won't that. But also uh, the female. Yes. That's an incredible voice to have because we've got to be able to reach the next generation because it's not just the, the hunting traditions, it's also, you know, the conservation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that, you know, when they buy guns, when they buy ammo, the, the taxes that come from that help to preserve our, our lands and our conservation. Absolutely, and, and that is something that's, the NRA is working really, really, really hard um, with the Hunters Leadership Forum to generate funding and to really represent hunters in a larger capacity, and I'm on the uh, board of directors for the Hunting and Wildlife Conservation Committee, but women are really key. We are key into making decisions in our households. We are key in making decisions when it comes to policy and politics as well. And it's kind of a proven fact that when a woman is involved in something, the entire family is involved. Uh, a dad or a husband or a mentor can go out and be a hunter, but not necessarily activate the kids in a household. When you involve women in shooting sports and hunting, the activation from the entire family, the, the success of that is, is doubled. And so we have a new generation that is exposed to it as an entire family group and it you know when I started hunting when I was a little girl there wasn't clothes there wasn't gear there wasn't equipment that fit women and now manufacturers have really taken heed to that and have said okay we need to have women as shooters women are great shooters we're more competitive than men we're oftentimes better shooters than men and it's not that we want to beat you guys up but we want to be a part of this world and not feel like we aren't we don't belong and and gun manufacturers and ammo manufacturers you know you have Ruger that makes over half a dozen rifles that are off the sh off the shelf that do adjustable length of pull Hornady has taken heed to things and making you know critical defense light ammunition for women with us in mind which really makes it great for us to get involved in shooting sports and um, you know carrying that torch and being part of that flag and, and kind of spearheading this next generation of Shooters and Hunters has really been an honor for me and, and kind of what I grew up and I live for. That's incredible. So um, you've sort of touched on, on the answer to this next question, but it, maybe you'd like to expand on it. What would you say uniquely qualifies you to serve on the NRA Board of Directors? Well, I believe that there's no end to the need for the voice of the conservationist and the hunter really needs to have a, a, a maybe a little bit louder voice with a slightly more conviction that might be heard throughout the National Rifle Association. Again, we've got some great committees that are doing great things. I try to reach the grassroots people. I serve locally. I hunt locally around the world, um, around the country. I, I activate at almost every nonprofit conservation show, from Sheep Show. I work with NWTF. I work with RMEF. I work with the Mule Deer Foundation. I've worked with SCI. Um, I've lobbied in Washington, D.C. I've served the NRA. I really try to create what I consider a grassroots activism. So my goal is to take the voice of women and the voice of hunters back to the NRA and conversely their message back to us as, as members. And, you know, I also am an NRA pistol instructor, refuse to be a victim instructor. I'm a range safety officer. I teach with groups called Shoot Like a Girl. I, I teach at the Well-Armed Woman National Leadership Conference. I compete in long-range precision rifle shooting. So I'm meeting tons of people, and I really want to be that voice of somebody 
in a, in a new generation, a new era, and bringing a different perspective, perhaps, to the NRA. Absolutely. So what does the Second Amendment mean to you, and why is it important to protect and preserve this part of the Bill of Rights? Just speaking from you personally. Look, I work with um, some of my brothers in, in this world. I call them brothers, and I work with a lot of groups that do hunts or take combat wounded veterans on outdoor adventures mm -hmm. or take Gold Star Wives on outdoor adventures, getting them out, learning and helping them rediscover ability, perhaps if they were wounded in combat, that maybe they thought they lost some ability. I hear from these guys. I know how hard they fought for our freedom. Mm -hmm. I know the sacrifices that their families have made for us to have the freedoms we experience. And I believe that we need to be strong advocates of the Second Amendment because our founding fathers not only were supporters of the Second Amendment, but they supported our heritage. Mm -hmm. They supported the right for us and the God-given right to defend our homes mm -hmm. for numerous reasons. Um, they, they went through all kinds of hardships to make sure that we never had the rights be infringed that we've seen in other countries. You know, it, we don't want that in America. I know the blood that has been shed for us to have that freedom, and so for me, I'm trying to fight in my own way for our country the way that our servicemen and women fight for us. Oh my goodness, you totally gave me goosebumps with that. I, I couldn't agree with you more. So should you be elected, what experiences, and again you touched on some of this already, what experiences will you bring to help make future policy within the NRA as a board member? You know, I think a lot of what I want to bring to the table is that I have no agenda. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not in this for anything other than I want to be the voice of the everyday American. I want to be the voice of the guy or gal that goes out and hunts deer maybe once or twice a year, mm -hmm. or plinks cans in the backyard with their family, or that maybe perhaps is interested in competitive shooting, or women, or hunters, and the voice of conservation. It is my goal to really make that voice louder, stronger, with more conviction. I want to educate people mm -hmm. how the legal sale and transfer of firearms and ammunition is bettering our world, how we have spearheaded the North American wildlife conservation model and literally the only conservation model that's ever been successful, the, the funds that we raise annually. We fund through state tag licenses and sales over 75% of statewide conservation efforts that are made. I want to tell that story. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be the one that's out there advocating for everyday America without a bias, without an agenda, like I said, I want to I want to be on the ground working with people where where I am. I'm out there in the world. Talk to people, learn, get their insight, find out what they're feeling, what things they're struggling with in their states with different gun regulations. You know, I live in Oregon, and it's becoming progressively more restrictive to be a firearms owner there. Mm -hmm. um, we need advocates for for places like Oregon and, mm -hmm. and on the ground back to NRA. Absolutely. So, once again, if, if you are successfully elected to the board, what is one area you would like to be instrumental in changing or growing within the NRA, and how might you make that happen? First of all, I want to activate women, mm -hmm. um, more women, and I'm so honored to be you know, nominated alongside some extremely fantastic women this year, but I also want to activate a younger generation. Mm -hmm. There are so many people, especially in my hunting industry um, and shooting sports industry, that want to be Instagram celebrities or, you know, YouTube celebrities and all of these things. And I think that's great. The more people that are touting the flag of what we do, that the better. But my goal is to say, okay, if you want to be a leader, how are you having your boots on the ground? Mm -hmm. You take the servicemen and women that fight to protect our country. Those are literal boots on the ground protecting us. Where are your boots? Mm -hmm. And if you are an activist for the outdoors and you enjoy hunting and you enjoy shooting, you better have dirt on your boots. You better be standing up for our country and you better be fighting alongside the rest of us. And that is what I want to spearhead. That's fantastic. Uh, better have dirt on your boots. I better like have dirt that. on your boots. So you are in the field how many days out of the year? I, I mean, couldn't even tell you. <laughs> right? There's only 365 days yeah. in the year, and I think you're in the field like 375. I so. feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, between hunting and then shooting sports um, and training and um, 
I do a lot of community outreach programs and local activism, and I'm on the go all the time, and, and that's really important to me. It is, and you are so busy. So how, if you were elected to the board, how are you going to fit those responsibilities into that already super busy schedule and stay accessible mm -hmm. to our, our constituents Absolutely. and members across the country and connected to those constituents? I'm really easy to find. So I'm on social media. It's a great place to reach me, but I have email that's accessible. But I'm at events. Like I'm here at Shaw Show. I was at the Hornady booth today. Um, I'm accessible there. Come talk to me. Meet me. Shake my hand. Let's talk about issues. Let's talk about what your concerns are. I'm at... All of these hunting and outdoor conservation group trade shows, I have a booth there. You can come, you can hang out with me, you can talk to me, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Um, that's Those are the things I need here. So I become more educated on the true concerns of firearms owners. Um, easy to get a hold of. So I think people won't have a hard time finding me at all between those outlets and then, you know, matches and... I'm, I'm everywhere. Um, you are pretty, everywhere. Pretty easy to find. Where? And so, um, digitally speaking, mm -hmm. what is the best way for people to follow the work you do mm -hmm. and also to reach out if, if they can't travel where you travel and they want to, you know, is email, yep. is Facebook? What's the best way for people to reach you? My website is christytitus.com and click the contact tab. It sends an email straight to my inbox. Um, and I can res I respond to those directly there. Also, have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Pursue the Wild. I'm also on Amazon TV, which is Pursue the Wild, and uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things. I'm not big on Twitter. You guys have to apologize <laughs> about that. I'm not great about that. But um, so I'm learning everywhere. Twitter myself oh, right Lord. now. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's one of those things. I'm like. I don't know. I do it, but it's it's hard to maintain. And everything. I can't do Snapchat at all. I, I'm like Instagram, Facebook, trying to do Twitter. Yeah. So, but you sound very accessible. Yes. You sound like you do care about um, the the community that you would definitely reply back if people are emailing mm -hmm. you and that sort of thing. So, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down Glad with to us. Be here. Please be sure to watch Pursue the Wild Please. on Amazon. Dot com. Yep. So Amazon, if you just Google on Amazon TV and type in Pursue the Wild, it'll pull right up. Or just go to YouTube.com forward slash Pursue the Wild. Very good. And just like when we have local elections or presidential elections or any elections, your vote counts. counts. Right? So if you would love to see uh, the board have the representation that Christy Titus, the NRA board of directors, that Christy Titus would bring, then get involved. Check out her webpage. Mm -hmm. Check out her what how she feels about different issues. If you believe that she would speak for you, then vote. So thank you so much. I really appreciate Hi it. You. I love thank you. Too. Christy Titus thank of Pursue the Wild. Bye bye now.